I know, I'm Peter Millard and this is 10 Minute Workshop, where 10 minutes in the workshop is never 10 minutes wasted. In the workshop this week I've got a really fast tip for you about cutting small pieces safely on a chop saw. Now I don't know about you, but I have trigger words that set alarm bells off in my head. Um, the two phrases in particular are, I'll just and it's only, especially in combination. You, you've, you've done this before. Oh, it's only just out of reach. I'll just stand on the table to get that. You know, it's never going to work well. Um, it's doubly so when it comes to chop saws and mitre saws. Oh, it's only a tiny piece. I'll just hold it with my fingers close to the blade while I... No, 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 no. Bad idea. Um, uh, best way I've found to cut very small pieces on the mitre saw and the chop saw. Uh, in fact, I had to cut some recently for, a, uh, for one of the gift ideas. Um, is is to it's really really simple you just use a backing board any old piece of scrap that you've got i use a piece of 12 mil uh, mdf shocker uh just run some double-sided tape over that uh put your palm over it a little bit so it doesn't stick super strong and then just stick use use the mitre saw fence uh, and stick your small piece against it and then you've got plenty of room to hold uh the the backing board while you make your cut So that's it for this week's quick tip. Uh, just keep an eye out for those uh, trigger words. You know whatever comes next is never going to be good. Uh, I hope you found that useful today. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it out amongst your friends and uh, do consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. Or hey, just check back on a Friday when there's always something new up at noon. I've got a low battery warning light flashing at me. It's only an outro. I'll just carry on. It'll be